Good morning. The topic is effect of size and shape of NDR capsulotomy on visual acuity and IOP in patients with Burl type PCO. I have no financial disclosures to make. Now, the incidence of PCO after nitromatic cataract surgery was between 5 to 50 percent, and after five years, it was found to be more than 25 percent. So, NDR was found to be a very effective uh, method to deal with it. Now, an ideal capsulotomy size, as the literature says, it should be equal to or exceed the pupillary diameter in dark while remaining within the border of the intraocular lens. Two common shapes of posterior capsulotomy openings have been studied, which is the cruciate and the circular. However, not many studies exist uh, comparing different capsulotomy techniques. Now, our aim was to find out whether the size and shape of NDR capsulotomy has any effect over post-laser visual activity, IOP and complications in pseudophagic patients with grade 4 pearl type posterior capsular opacification. After thorough IC, uh, IC approval, a prospective observational study of 100 eyes and 80 patients with grade 4 pearl type PCO was uh, taken for our study. After one month post laser, we divided them into four groups. Group A, circular shape, less than 3.5 mm. B, more than 3.5 mm, similar circular shape. C was cruciate, less than 3.5. And D was cruciate, more than 3.5 mm opening. We found that in 100 eyes, we divided the patients into 25 uh, groups of each, 45 male, 35 female, 60 with unilateral PCO, 20 with bilateral. The average age was between 44 to 84 years. In our results, we found there was no significant difference between the BCVA and the IOP one month post uh, pre and post laser comparison. However, there was a significant difference found between the number of laser shot firings and the total energy requirement between all the four groups. In pairwise comparison, there was a, a significant difference found between the circular shape of less than 3.5 mm and cruciate more than 3.5 mm. Uh, in total energy pairwise comparison, also we found a significant difference between uh, the circular shape with less than 3.5 and cruciate which was more than 3.5. Rate of lotus was the highest in group D, which was cruciate shaped capsulotomy with more than 3.5 mm. Now, the previous studies have shown that a large capsulotomy helped in better posterior segment examination, however, was associated with complications and hyperopic shift. And in terms of capsulotomy shape, studies have shown that circular shape had more floaters and macular edema as compared to cruciate with more light scattering. In our study, we did not find any significant difference between the BCV and IOP in either this, uh, different, of the ca different types of capsulotomy sizes and shapes. However, in terms of shorts and energy, the shape of uh, size, which was less than 3.5 mm, fared much better and required lesser uh, shorts and energy. And the circular shape required uh, much lesser shorts and energy. In terms of floaters, uh, the larger the capsulotomy size, more in incidence of floaters was noted. And the cruciate shape was associated with more floaters. However, we had the limitations of a uh, small sample size and short follow-up and assessment of a fewer parameters. In conclusion, I would like to say that both circular and cruciate shaped capsulotomies were found to be comparable. However, less than 3.5 mm uh, capsulotomy required the least number of shots and energy with similar visual outcome as the larger size. And smaller capsulotomy was associated with lesser complications as well. Thank you. So, so follow me. Uh, how did you measure the size of the capsulotomy? Did you like document with photographs? And also when you say more than 3.5, like what size is it? That's a very vague uh, number. A uh, slit lamp uh, reticule was used for the measurement and post uh, uh, after one month of the capsulotomies and all of those which in the reticule were coming as more than 3.5 with but within the pupillary uh, scotopic margins were approximately taken. Dilated measurement was done though. This was done at one month? Uh, post one month of the capsulotomy. And then they were divided into the different groups. All patients were dilated before a uh, capsulotomy or it was? Yes, sir. We did dilate it, perform dilated capsulotomies. Uh, was there any higher instance of uh, post yag uh, CME as come in the two groups? Uh, so that was our flaw. Actually, we did not measure the CME post yag. That was one of the parameters which was not measured. And uh, did you measure the undilated pupil size of these patients? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, an average undilated pupil you size. You should have mentioned it here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.